Also, before we get into the video, make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you can hear the announcement of the Anatomy Bootcamp one year subscription giveaway winners from my 1500 subscriber giveaway. So, I just finished up my first year of dental school. It's now the summer. I'm back home for a little bit, starting my first week of my Apex externship. I did say in a previous video that I would describe a little bit more what that's about. So essentially, at my school, after your first year in the summer, you complete an eight-week externship at a dental office. It allows us to get some experience with procedures that we're going to be seeing um, at the beginning of next well, all of next year, when we start taking our more dentistry-focused classes and moving away from the basic science courses. So it's a very valuable experience, and it was a hard selling point for my school during my interview. Um, it was definitely something I was looking forward to as soon as I decided that I was going to attend BU, and um, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. I love it. So today, since I just finished up my first year of dental school, I said I would do an updated video with advice for incoming dental students and general dental school advice about your first year. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Before we start the video, if you're new to the channel, my name's Eli. I am a, I guess, in between first and second year dental student at Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine. On this channel, I vlog my dental school journey as well as make advice for pre-dental students who are looking to get to the next step in the journey. So if you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment under the video, share the channel with a friend you think may need it, share with a classmate, do whatever you gotta do. I really appreciate it. So the first tip I have for an incoming dental student, and this may be one of the more, maybe my most important tip, invest in a planner. When you get to dental school, they throw so many things at you at once, assignments, quizzes, exams, all types of stuff. As you may realize, it, it's very hard to stay on top of things and it becomes easy to forget things. It kind of gets hard to stay organized. It gets hard to uh, keep track of all your assignments and your exams, especially when they're a couple weeks out and it may not be the first thing on your mind. Time moves so fast when you're in dental school. These things come up so quick that if you don't write it down or have somewhere where you can look at everything that you need to do, I can almost guarantee you'll lose track of it. In my first year, I decided to invest in a planner and I talk about that planner in my 10 essentials video, which I'll link up here. You can go check it out after you're done watching this video. Um, but another thing that I did when I started my second semester is I created an iPhone note with a list of every exam I had that semester. That way I could literally just go to the note at any point in time and look and see when my next exam was. And I'll post a screenshot of that list too right here. I found that to be very helpful considering exams were basically our major assignments and you know, every school is different. Um, but it also made a way that I didn't have to look pages in advance in my planner to find out what exams I had in April, if it was still February or something like that. So that's definitely something that I started doing second semester that I'm going to do every year until I graduate, every semester until I graduate. And, you know, something that I recommend you guys do too. But essentially, you want to stay on track of everything that you got going on and you want to be able to manage your time. So I definitely, I definitely recommend you invest in some kind of planner or organizer for your first year of dental school. Tip number two, make friends with older students. You have to remember, when you start dental school, every single person at that school that's older than you has been through what you've been through. First year is the hardest year of dental school at a lot of schools. And the best way to learn how to get through first year is to talk to second years, people who just got through it. Talk to third years, people who have gotten through the first two years and have learned different things about themselves, different things about the school, different things about how to study, how professors like to ask exam questions, what the best resources are for each class. These are, this is invaluable advice that you can get from older students. And you can also gain, gain mentors of people who are gonna be dentists 
a few years before you come out of school and they can help you in the real world as well. Relationships that you develop at school and in the dental field are everything. So networking, meeting people, older people, people from other schools is always super important in your success as a dental student as well as your success as a future dentist. So my third advice for incoming, my third piece of advice for incoming dental students, don't fall behind. I feel like that goes without saying, but when I say that, I mean, don't fall behind in anything. You're gonna be hit with a, well, it depends on your school schedule, but e you're either gonna have one of two different types of scheduling for your classes. You're gonna learn in blocks, where you take maybe one class at a time for a few weeks, take a final exam and move on. Or you're gonna have multiple classes throughout the semester and, be, and you'll have to balance each one of those as you keep moving. Either way, it's easy to fall behind in both of those. If you have a block, a block type of schedule and you decide to skip class, you are getting a lot of information in one class because the classes are so condensed. It's easy to fall behind and you will have the same amount of information in that next class. It's definitely like college, but it's a lot more. If you have the type of schedule that I had at BU in my first year, where you have multiple classes at the same time that you're taking the whole semester, it becomes easy to fall behind if you're studying a little extra for your next exam and you don't have an exam in a different class for another two weeks or three weeks or something like that. It becomes very, very easy to fall behind. So like I said, this kind of ties in with getting a planner. Try not to fall behind. Make sure you are doing some type of work or studying every day. Of course, take breaks when you need to. Mental breaks are super important in dental school, but do not fall behind because it becomes so hard to catch up. So my fourth piece of advice for incoming dental students, get extra help. I'll be completely honest with you. Every professor in dental school is not made to teach a class. It's really that simple. They may sit in front of the class and lecture, but you may not grasp anything that they're trying to say, or you may not even understand what they're trying to say. My recommendation is to seek out those, extra, those outside study resources that are gonna help you actually learn the material. I probably use some kind of supplemental resource for every single class that I took this year, whether it be a YouTube channel that is specific for neuroanatomy. I definitely use two minute neuroanatomy for neuroanatomy, whether it be YouTube videos on different physiology things, um, a good biochemistry resource that I use was AK lectures on YouTube. And then of course, you guys have seen my other videos about Anatomy Bootcamp. If you're interested in purchasing that, you can use my 20% code, which I'll put on the screen. I believe, yeah, I think it's student Dr. Eli, but I have to double check. Um, so you can use my 20% code if you're interested in purchasing Anatomy Bootcamp for the year. It's definitely something I used a lot. You can check out my review video, which I'll link here. And yeah, so my fourth tip is definitely to Get extra help slash seek outside resources, whatever is gonna help you learn. Don't rely on just your professors or just a textbook. I don't know if, if people even read textbooks anymore, but don't rely on just what the school tells you to use as your resources. Ask other students, ask older students what helps for each class. That's honestly how I found out about two minute neuroscience and AK lectures on YouTube. And those things are free. You don't always have to pay for something extra. Just ask people like what they use. They may have, oh yeah, like sketchy from micro. People may have sketchy videos on their flash drive or something like you just never know. But ask and find the extra help because it will help you probably 10 times better than trying to understand a professor that you just can't understand. So my fifth and final tip for incoming dental students take breaks literally you you cannot study all day and all night every day it's not sustainable it's not going to work for you you will achieve burnout very very fast take mental breaks whenever you need to my mental break was if i had an exam that day i was not studying after i take the exam i'm not going to start studying for the next exam after i just took an exam take a break 
trust me, your brain is tired. Your brain needs to rest. It needs to rejuvenate so you can actually learn something. I was not studying for another exam the same day that I took an exam. Another way that I took breaks, if I didn't have an exam the next week, which was definitely very rare, but if I didn't have an exam the next week, I was not picking up any kind of books over the weekend. It's the weekend, like relax. You really have to take time and just relax sometimes. Gunner mentality gets you nowhere. I don't care what anybody says, it gets you nowhere. People come into school as gunners and overachievers. I wouldn't say overachievers, but they have very high expectations of themselves. They've never really felt what it feels like to fail. They come into school, they see that it's really hard and they achieve burnout within the first two months of school. And then they enter a state of depression or you know, not believing in themselves. And it's just very detrimental to your mental health. I really believe that you need to take breaks. If, you, if anybody that's watching this video watched my um, first year recap that I had Malik and Cheeto do last year on the channel, you would see that Malik said the same thing. Give yourself a break sometimes. Go out, go to that party, go to that kickback, hang out with your classmates, whatever you gotta do, but give yourself a break sometimes. Okay, everybody, so those are my five tips for incoming dental students. Thank you for watching this video. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna announce the giveaway winners now at the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. All right, so y'all know I'm fair. I made a deadline for the giveaway for Sunday, May 15th at 8 p.m. As soon as 8 p.m. hit, I made a list of all the giveaway entries and numbered them. I'll pop the list in on the screen right here. And the same way as all the giveaways, I'll ask Siri to pick a random number. It was 23 entries, so I'll ask Siri, Siri to pick a random number, one through 23. Whoever it lands on is the winner of the giveaway. So, Siri, pick a random number, one through 23. 17. So the giveaway winner is Ryan Shattuck. I'll be reaching out to you on Instagram uh, so you can claim your prize, but congratulations for winning a free year of anatomy boot camp. I'm sure this will be helpful for you in your first year of medical school or dental school. And congratulations.